We're learning Everyone, how to fly. Let's please go. Please welcome a new student Let's to go. our flying class. Guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back into Hogwarts Legacy. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. I hope you are having a yes, blessed sir. day. Yes, sir. We're going to get back into Hogwarts Legacy. Um, we last left off, we went to Azkaban. We went into the dungeons. We met a crazy ass bitch. But we have to go to um, the cave and find out what's in the cave because that's where we last left off. So let's do it. I should investigate. Let's investigate this cave and see what's here. Oh, we can shoot that down, right? Oh, I guess enemies would have to be there, right? For, for that to make sense. I'm a bit rusty. Your boy's a bit rusty. It's been a minute since I played, so I've got to remember the controls again. These rocks have seen better days. Right, this got to must do... be the place Anne told me about. Right, we don't need Lumos. I thought we would have needed Lumos, but... No one's been here for ages. Revelio. Okay, yeah. I remember that. I remember the good old Revelio. We've got a chest down there. Gloves that we're going to sell. One thing I've noticed, you get a lot of gear in this game. Oh, I don't mean to do that. I want to do it over here. Oh, you can just walk through. Okay. Yeah, you got you get like a lot of um, gear in this game, so I'll be assuming. I'm assuming you would probably need to just. No. Yeah, I mean. How did you do this, Jackdaw? I'm assuming you'll probably have to just sell everything, you know, and keep keep only the good ones that you need. But you probably get a lot of them. All right, let's see what we can do here. Okay, is this, is there meant to be like a clue or something how we do this? Because I know I'm gonna fuck up. Okay, let's get this one. Oh, okay, I got two sticking out. Can we get a third? It's no wonder I found that clue. Okay, no. So one. To that one's still out. It is still out. Okay. Up. Oh, can you do the ones up there? You can. Only... Okay. Let's do this one up here then. I'm literally freestyle. Okay, so it's just gonna be the top ones, right? All in the same row. No. Fuck's sakes. Okay. I think I know. I'm saying I think I know. I probably have no fucking idea. But... You'll not outfox me, Jackdaw. Oh, there we go. You can outwit me, Jackdaw. Wait, but where... Well, where's the clue you left behind? Where is the fucking clue, though? How would I... I literally just freestyled that. Like, how would I figure that out if I just didn't... Use my initiative, you know? Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, we can just break through it. Okay. Can we open this? Oh, what's in there? Oh, we got some good glass. The fingerless glass. All right, let's go through. Oh, we got a note. Okay, my dearest Anne. Well done, you solved my puzzle. I knew you were a kindred spirit and the only one with whom I could truly share my adventures. Meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest as soon as you can and I will show you the map that I mentioned. There's no telling where it will lead us. I found it on pages that Peeves ripped from the secret book and no one else seems to be able to find. I haven't any idea what lies ahead, but I'm glad I know I shall share my future with you. This is only the beginning, Richard. P.S. I am terribly glad you found, I'm terribly glad you found this as I would have gone on alone if you did not. 
And what fun would that be? Huh? It's true. A note from Jackdaw. Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? He thought that she found it, and he was yeah, head over heels. But let's head back <laughs> or head out. Oh shit! That's Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Is that lover boy? Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. <coughs> I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves. And then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best of her in the end. Dare I ask, how is she? Well, I'm afraid you ruined her life. Um, let's go with the top one. She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. Oh, that's I've been traveling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be moldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what. Meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. Okay, let's, let's, um, let's press them and, and ask some questions. So how did you lose your head? Yeah, what a fucking question, isn't it? How did you lose your head? If you don't mind me asking, how did you lose your head? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, <laughs> after which I felt, well, lightheaded. That's all I remember. Hence, <laughs> if you do find yourself in a cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Okay. Helen mentioned Apollonia Black. Did she set up Anne to take the fall? Have you never met any members of the Black family? They can be rather vindictive. Once Anne showed an interest in me, Apollonia couldn't let it alone. That her own heart had grown cold simply didn't matter. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. Found them on the floor outside the library where he discarded them. Not my luckiest find, all things considered. Mm, okay. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. So his lover is the crazy woman that was in an Azkaban prison. Wow. That's actually crazy. Okay, so we are going into the Forbidden Forest. These flowers always get me, I swear. We're entering the Forbidden Forest, let's do it. Let's see how forbidden it actually is. It's daytime though, so that's good. It's nice for a change, you know. Oh shit, we got some guys here. What the fuck is that? Oh shit. What are you? Go down. Are we fucking both of them? Come on, let's get it. Nothing more than luck. Can we bring him up? Yeah, bring him close. Oh, we got him as well. Let's bring him close. What am I fighting? Okay. 
This will come out, nice. Getting better with the combat. My first couple tries was absolutely horrendous, but slowly, slowly. They didn't lie about this forbidden ship, where as soon as we entered, we got a, we're fighting some big ass frog and a madman. Let's collect this little piece here though. We got some more enemies here or bad guys. Looks like a little camp. Let's be having them. Gun and guns blazing, mate. Stop right there. I don't think it's luck, mate. Oh shit, I wasn't even paying attention. Let's do that. Let's disarm him. Alright, we'll disarm him. Let's use a special one. Oh, I thought that was the actual wolf. Those ones you can't do it, right? You gotta. Where's the other one up? There we go. Got one here. Last one. Oh, good shit. I was trying to talk during combat, like both at the same doing both at the same time. It's not really it's not really happening, is it? Rebellion. Alright, we've got a little chest in here. Manipulation. Half of the stuff I'm picking up, I don't even know where it is, you know. I gotta like, I gotta look into it a little bit more. We gotta search everywhere though before we leave. We just can't leave. Okay. What is this? It's a little cave. We got a. We got a. Uh, we do have to go in there. We have to proceed, right? It would be a shame not to. Might be nothing in there, but. Fucking hell. There's a lot of enemies there, isn't it? There also might be something. There also might be something in there, so let's go. I might need my Lumos. Lumos. Rebellion. What the hell is that? Can you drop in there? You know what? Before I do that, I'm just going to save it because I feel like I've progressed kind of decently. So let's do that. If I drop in there and die, I know that you can't do that. And I just load it back up again. Oh, dive. Oh, shit. Great highlighted attire. Is that it? Oh, okay. Let's go back. Right, Mr. Richard. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It would take the patience of a Hufflepuff to track down these pages. Well said. Now, where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Let's... Alright. So let's follow the ghost. Aside from the birdbath... Anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. What the fuck was that? Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Right, the Forbidden Forest just got a lot more scarier. Let's see this checkpoint very quickly. Hmm. Yes. You know, 
The closer we get, the more I'm remembering. He's not- Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bar. Adieu. Oh, for real? You're just leaving Is me- Latin? Or Greek? You're just leaving me down here, yeah? It looks like there's gonna be spiders here Nothing or something. Nothing to do now, but keep going. All right, let's go. Rebellion. Is that a spider? That's a dog here, right? Let's get that dog. Oh, is there more? Oh, okay. I'm collecting all these mushrooms. I'm sure it's going to come in handy later, right? The waterfall. For a thief, Jack was surprisingly as good as his word. All right, keep going. Rebellio. Trying to Rebellio say, so give me a heads up. What the fuck is this? All right, let's just continue with the main. I can figure that out later. Because I feel like I'm going to be stuck on the... For a long time, trying to figure that out. More mushrooms. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Uh, we got a little save marker here, or a fast travel point. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. <coughs> Are we enter inside there? No. Oh shit. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Oh, they showed us. Okay, let's go, let's go. Ah! Oh, we're gonna block that. Oh shit. Block that. Yeah, let's go. Is that all of them? Oh, we've got another one, right? Is that all of them? He's still alive. Okay, he's dead now. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora's led me. I'm constantly just watching the top of uh, Chuma Chum's head to see where an, uh, a counter attack is coming so I can, I can block it. Palm's a bit sweaty there, let's rub it off. I wonder how big this place is. Hawk lump juice. Rebellion. I didn't even know you had to shoot that. I was just spamming it, but. That's good to know. Now we can use that. That must be where all this leads. So some sort of magical gateway we opened. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Wait, before we do that. I want to see if this gives me an actual buff or no. No, it doesn't. I just look like a, I look like a plonka. All right, let's go back. I wonder if any spells will help me through this. Oh, spiders. Watch on the top of the head, watch on the top of the head. Oh my god, I didn't see that one though, did I? Oh, does that. Oh nice, alright, let's go. 
Fucking hell, that's a little little breach right there, isn't it? Should we go for it? Let's be having um let's go. Look at these little I hate spiders like I actually hate spiders. <laughs> Top of the head, top of the head. Oh shit, I gotta watch out for them ones that come up underneath. There he is, I see him, I see him, I see him plotting. Is that all of them? Nice. Okay, okay, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, we've got a chest here. Uh, we better get something decent. Oh, okay, we've got the straw sun hat. You know, that's getting equipped ASAP. ASAP. We've got to take off the governor hat. And we're putting on the straw sun hat. Blood claw, he looks absolutely mad. All right, we're going with it though. If you saw this guy walking down the street, would you approach him? I wouldn't, mate. Revelio. He definitely hasn't got it together. All right, let's move. Is that everything there? That is everything. I can't take him serious with his hat on. <laughs> it matches the glasses though, low key. Oh, it's telling me to go that way. So many options, which way should we go? Fucking, I'm more spiders. Nice, nice. Well, if Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. You just gotta hit it, right? Let's see. Not really much solving to do there, but I heard the puzzles in this game. They do get the next symbol is hidden somewhere. A lot more challenging, a lot more difficult. So I'm assuming that's the main objective, that's the way we have to go, because there's a marker there. So let's go this way and see if we can collect any more gear that they might have hidden. Way ahead of you, son. Oh, maybe I need to go over there, isn't it? Fucking hell, where are these spiders coming from? Sorry for the scream. <laughs> I'll be screaming like crazy. Just catch me off guard, man. Fucking hell, they're just climbing on the walls and then they come out of nowhere. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Hmm. Very odd. <laughs> Quick mass, quick mass. Revelio. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Oh, his body's meant to be in here. <coughs> I saw something down here. Let's pick these up. <coughs> Cause I'm definitely, <coughs> sorry. I'm definitely not coming down here again, so let's just pick up everything we can and leave it as is, you know? Okay, so we have to find a third one. 
kind of like a God of War, right? You got to throw your axe and those and those bells to open it. Oh, there it is. We are going in deeper and deeper into the unknown, the abyss. Let's go though, let's go. Oh fuck. Like I'm actually, my skin is itching, like I fucking hate driving. I hate them, oh my god. Alright, let's go. <coughs> I'm exploring every route, just to see if there's any other chests around. Here we go, we've got one here. First chair cap. <coughs> He's got a little scully on. But we're not going to equip that because it's, it doesn't give us it doesn't give us any buffs. So we're going to stick with what's what's working anyway right now. It's a good thing Jack Dool didn't fall down there. I mean, he got his head chopped off, innit? Like it's not really it's not really much, a, a worse death than that. Getting your head chopped off. Okay, got a blazer. Revelio. All right, see that spider there plotting. He's just waiting for me. Oh shit! Let's go over here before we go that way. I'm assuming these ways over here is like side objectives, right? And then going straight ahead is the main objective. Oh, it's gonna be hella spiders, y'all. I'm spamming. I see some around the corner. Oh, there we go. What did I do? I didn't even do that. Oh, there we go. Look at him with a hat, just fucking shit up. Oh, right, we've got the spider fang. Let's see what we get out of this. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. Can we pick this up? No, we can't. That's shit. We can't go through this way, can we? No. Oh. Oh, he's trying to come up. He's trying to come up. Where's he coming up from, bro? Oh, shit. Oh, no, I got that thing. I can throw that. Oh! I got the cabbage. I remember we got the cabbage. I'll fuck him up. Oh shit, hill, 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 how'd you hill? It was going so smooth until then. Okay, nice. Is that dead? It is. I gotta press down once. I've been like spamming it multiple times. Using up all my health. Revelio. When they go underground and they come back up, that. 
I thought that was tricky. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested. There's no sign of him. So many ways to bloody go. Just another little path we can take. What is up here? I hear something. Sounds a bit mad. Oh, can we go for now? We can't go through there, okay. Oh, so we've just got coins here. Some more spiders, lovely. <coughs> oh nice, we've got some wiggle wed, which is much needed. Oh, there's nothing else we can do, right? We came from there. Can we go through here? Oh no, we came from that way. All right, we've got to go down. Going deeper there it is. and deeper. The bridge, it's almost complete. And we got more enemies. More I it's fucking hate these spiders. Oh shit, what is that? That's a big boy. It's a big hairy motherfucker. How am I getting attacked and I'm in the bloody pool screw? Oh shit, move out of the way, move out of the way. Okay, when it's red, you gotta dodge. Don't get too close then. Oh, we lit it up. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, move out of the way. Nice. We've got more of them, though. Collect that. There's Leviosa. We've got another Leviosa. The button bashing is raw. My controllers. What? I couldn't pick it up. Yeah, my controllers telling me stop. You're pressing the buttons too hard. Oh, mate, you see what I'm dealing with here? I'm dealing with all these fucking hairy spiders, man. They've got to go. All right, before we do that, we can't go down this way. Let's go up here and see. Okay, this is the third bit, right? So we go down here. Is that it? We've got one more, right? Where's the last one? Not a headless skeleton in sight. But I need to look around for the symbol. Did we open all of them? No, we didn't. This one. Firm one. 
two and three. Well, I see some knights or something. Pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Defend yourself against an attack from the ocean. Oh. oh, move out of the way, move out of the way. Nice. Nice, right, coming over here. Disarm him. Now we've got these big ones, right? Is this our first boss? Let's use a big one on it. Ah, oh, one shot. Lovely. We've got two more. Love you also don't work on them. Okay, the salmon though. Take off his head. Head off. Uh oh, move out of the way. Oh, disarm him. And he could just form another one, beautiful. Nice. Oh, I missed this chest here. What? Oh. Some, uh, What's that? Let's collect this before we go. Rebellion. I would have just went straight through there and missed these two chests. Not that there's anything worth picking up anyway, but you never know. I think I'm gonna have to take this hat off though. He's looking absolutely ridiculous. Well, you can just change the um, the appeal of it, right? Where am I? Change what it looks like. Oh, no. The room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? <coughs> what sort of magic is this? Oh shit. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. Can we go through the door? We can't. This bubble hasn't got a timer, right? I hope it doesn't have a fucking timer because I don't have a clue where I'm meant to be going. And I can't Revelio as well. Where the hell am I meant to go? I just bloody went there. I literally just went there and it's saying I have to go back now. Hopefully this bubble doesn't have a timer. Oh, it's open now, okay. What is this place? Ooh. A little pop in. My man looking like a GQ model. Can it be? 
Is that Dumbledore? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Um, I'll bring the book here. Let's definitely ask some questions. The statues and carvings <coughs> in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. All right, let's go and find this book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Okay, your connection to, the, to ancient magic has unlocked talents. Oh, okay, plus one. You'll receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. I had to say that slow. I had to say it like that because I always fuck it up if I say it quickly. <laughs> you have new talent points to spend in the talents menu in your field guide. Okay, let's have a look at this because I don't understand. Oh, we got a little cheeky achievement. What is this though, core? How many points I got? I got 13 points, nice. Um, so we're not gonna do stealth. We're gonna do, let's see, what was that, spells? Um, ooh, we definitely could need that for the spiders. We definitely could use that for the spiders. What is this? Casting incendio unleashes a ring of flame around you. Required level five. I've got that. How many how many points does it cost though? Only one point. Oh nice. Uh, must be able to cast Defendio to unlock this. Okay. What is this one then? Oh you can bring multiple. That's that's a no-brainer. We're taking that. That's a fucking no-brainer as well. We we're definitely getting that. Okay, 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 I'm liking it. I thought we just had the basics, um, the basic uh, spells, but I'm liking that we can cast some more different ones, make it a bit more interesting. Stupefy has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Curse enemies take increased damage. Well, we get that anyway, I don't, uh, yeah. Just, just, just gonna get it. Dealing damage to a cursed target and inflicts damage to all cursed targets. Yeah, we're gonna get that as well. Let me see this one. Expelliarmus has the same effect on a cursed enemy. Um, on a cursed enemy, so they increase it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get that. And we're gonna get this. And what does this do? Oh, a cursed effect remains on an enemy for a longer period of time. That was a thing, but it's good to know. It's good to know. I just went ham there. Literally, I just fucking bought everything. What's down there? This is where we came from. Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's exit that godforsaken place. All those bloody spiders. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book?
Watch us like be right underneath Hogwarts or something, right underneath the school. <coughs> Rebellion. There was a chest there. How do you open this chest? I have no idea how to open it. Is it open? No, I don't think we can open it yet. That will come at a later date. Oh, are we learning how to fly? No way. Let's just get this quick. Oh, we got that. How nice to see you, my Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Everybody grab a broom. We're learning how to fly. Let's, Let's go. Let's get it. Nice, we can fly around the um, Hogwarts now. Your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo! Not a fan, I take it? <laughs> now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. <coughs> Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. Oh, we got it first try. Nice. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. All right, let's go. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take this care. Take some getting the used rooms to. are school property. Wish I, I want them returned room. in one piece. It's pretty sick. I hope we can go quicker than this, so yeah, I'm sure we can. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Have they got any turbo on this? Oh, there we go. Are we this taking off? Set of rings will take you around the ground. Oh, you got to oh, click in. What a view. Okay, I never listened to oh. the instructor. Hello. Nice day for a flight. All right, it's kind of quick. Ha. Good. I've got this. Look at me, Mom, flying! Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Man like Urkel, yeah? Urkel back in the cut. This is amazing, though. Actually feels like I'm flying. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance uh -oh. once in a while. <gasps> I'll get too low. And the music as well makes you feel like you're accomplishing something, you know? Huh. That wasn't too bad. Uh, we weren't going that quick, mate. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? You guessed right, my friend, yes. <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? 
A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. All right, let's go, let's go. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. Oh, we got going to the bridge. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Let's get your little bad breed. Oh, I'm gonna go into the building. If you go nice into the building, would you die? Tall, isn't it? He's flying low as fuck, though. Fuck it. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Oh, okay, okay, nice. You can get more more speed like that. Nice. I had no idea. Let's where is he going now? LT for us. Oh, uh -huh. LT. Here we go. Now that's more like There's it. the famous. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Oh, we got boost. So nice. LT for the little boost. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and the jaunt around what what? This is quite the tall Everett. Uh, only if we had Quidditch, right? That would have been good. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Alright, let's, let's go back. back. Let's boost it. Wait, how do we land? Let's hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Oh, we can put the room back. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, <laughs> I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because, <coughs> you're still, because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Ah, I fuck with her, man. She's cool people. She ain't a little snitch, like, uh... I can't remember the other Sorry teacher's name. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. Yeah, it was still. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. <coughs> Alright, we definitely gotta buy a broom anyway. How much money do we have? I don't think we have a lot of money, but let's see. Can we check on air? If we go to gear... 5,102 coins. So we, we shouldn't be too broke. I don't know how much the brooms cost, though. We do have a lot of assignments we have to do. And a lot of quests that needs to be had. We're going to meet up with Sebastian first. And practice our spells with our dark arts. See if we can... Before we do that, though, let's... Spare a moment. I could use your help. Talk to Duncan right here, see what he needs help with. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Why, thank you. I've had some good luck. Ah, uh, let's be humble. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, 
We were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff scheme. It can be scary. What's to be scared of? Um, are you afraid of your own shadow too? <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see this. They're adorable. Let's go middle. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. That's a shit nickname. Yeah, that's actually funny, man. Uh, I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Hmm. What should I expect? What sort of plants should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. What a pussy, old man. But we will help him out anyway. I'm not trying to do that now, though, Loki. I want to do that other one. Meet, link up with Sebastian. Where is he at? Sebastian here. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. <coughs> Over here. All right. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. All right, I'm behind. I'm following you, mate. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Let's see. Oh, okay. I always thought there was something behind there, though. I'm just going in by myself. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Oh, he's in it. He named it the Undercroft. Revelio. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. So what I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never Anyone. He's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. <coughs> I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. 
Why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Hmm. It does sound dangerous, the Blasting Spell. I definitely gotta learn that. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. All right, let's go. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confrengo. Very well. Confrengo. <coughs> okay, let's go. Oh. Confringo, Confringo. You're getting it. I need to equip Ready it. Ready to actually try it out? Where is it? Is this it here? Confringo. No, Expelliarmus. This is Confringo here. Okay. Stick to the targets, though. The Best target, to keep sir? the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find... Really nice work. <coughs> How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. Okay, so it's a better version of... That's it! Incendio, right? I think I've got it. Well done. Nice. I have to say, <coughs> I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. It's almost too much. I'm ready for more spells like this. Yeah, I want more spells like this that. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Oh, she is alive. I thought she was dead. Yeah. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. <coughs> oh, she misses Hogwarts. Oh, sorry. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you the truth. I'm not ready to tell you everything. Should we tell him, though? I don't know. He was kind of... He didn't snitch on us, right, when we was in the library. Let's just tell him, fuck it. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. Mm, all right. I don't know. I think so, though. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. 
And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. You know what? I'm glad we told him, actually. If he can help us with our... Um, Rebellion. If he can help us with our ancient magic, you know? If, we, if I hadn't have told him, that option wouldn't have never been available, you know? So I guess, I guess it was a good thing. Hopefully he's trustworthy though and he doesn't, he doesn't talk too much. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? I stumbled upon it. Sebastian showed me. Um, no. I'm going to say I stumbled upon it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Oh, uh, that's that motherfucker in the movie, right? The one with the blonde hair. What's his name? I can't remember him. He's a little prick, though. No need for threats. I promise not to say anything. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. No, he sounds like an absolute twerk. Sebastian is going to get an ear Are you fucking shooting? Shoot, shoot that trick. No, we can't. All right, fuck it. Guys. What a playthrough. We fought some spiders. We met this bloody idiot called Ominous that we couldn't attack. But that's going to be it for these ones. This one, guys. I will catch you on the next one. As always, peace out and one love.